I am a truck driver. I work for a certain water company that is located in Michigan. The route that I drive for this company takes me as far as the Upper Peninsula, down to central Michigan. To give an idea of where this creepy experience took place, I was near Roscommon County. This was way back in late January, when the night would come as quickly as 5 p.m. I was driving down a rural highway around 8 p.m., and a snowstorm was picking up. As I was cruising down the highway, my truck began to sputter and shake. With a sigh, I pulled off to the side of the road, turned on my hazard lights, and put the vehicle in park. I've been dealing with this all day because of a coolant leak in the heater core. I have to fill up the coolant reservoir, which takes about five minutes. Dressed in nothing more but my regular clothes and a baseball cap, I exit my truck and I enter the snowy January night. I unlatched my hood and pulled it up. The sound of it opening was the only sound to be heard. It was very quiet out there at the time except for some blowing wind. The night was overcast and very dark due to the storm. My only light was from the hazards on the truck and a small flashlight in my mouth. The thick line of woods is about 100 feet away from each side of the road, and as I began to fill up the coolant reservoir, I heard some rustling in the undergrowth about 150 to 200 feet deeper in the woods. I thought nothing of it due to the fact that deer are common even during winter. But the strangest thing was the rustling was quite loud, like a lot louder than animals would usually be. I mean, the wind was blowing decently hard, but I could still hear the rustling in the woods. I was wondering what could be so loud when I heard a loud crack and a soft thud. Now this noise really got my attention. It didn't sound like a deer anymore, it sounded more like a person stumbling around. Humans are very loud in the woods, and no animal would purposely make a noise to give itself away like that, especially that loud. Yes, there were bears, but it wasn't a big concern for me in that area. Now, a real concern I had was that the last house I saw was about 10 miles away, and no cars had passed me by yet. And somehow, there was some dude walking around out there in the woods in the middle of a snowstorm. Still cautious of the guy walking around, I finished refilling the reservoir. I locked the hood down and began to enter the truck. Before exiting the truck, I had the windows down. I kept them down due to the fact I could still hear the guy out there. Then, as soon as the crashing around the forest started, it just as quickly stopped. That put me on edge. I turned the key in the ignition. A loud beep resounded from the truck dash, therefore allowing me to turn it on. The truck roared to life, and I started to pull back onto the road to continue driving. As soon as my truck started rolling, I heard the crashing start up again, but at a loud and quickened pace. By the sound of it, Whatever it was seemed to be making a line straight for the truck. I thought this guy was dumb or something, but it still freaked me out, so I pushed the truck to go faster. With the hazard light still on, I could see the outer edges of the semi. And then, I saw them. There was a person running near the rear passenger side of the trailer. The creepy part about it was that I was traveling at about 15 miles per hour and pushing it, still climbing, and the guy was fast enough to keep up, and he was closing the distance to my cab. Now, with the cold sweat, I pushed the truck into a higher gear, and the engine roared louder. I was pushing 25 miles per hour, and this guy was almost to the cab, when all of a sudden he just disappeared. It seemed he was so focused on catching up with the truck that he failed to notice and hit the guardrail on the side of the road. Though it still freaked me out, I continued traveling down the road, ignoring the speed limits until I got to the hotel I would be staying at. That was just one of the creepiest moments on the road. Thanks for watching. 
Subscribe to the channel to get our latest exclusive videos. Plus, hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.